Hello everyone, this is Mandra Dado from SIDCV. Welcome back to the course of Mechatronics. Today we are going to deal with the velocity sensors. So, objective of today's lecture is to study velocity sensors. Outcome the student will be able to explain what is velocity sensor and the different types of velocity sensors so <coughs> what we are going to cover today is what is uh, firstly what is the velocity sensor then different types of velocity sensors like tachometers lsvs piezoelectric sensors and accelerometer sensor so uh, let's see what is the velocity sensor a velocity or a speed sensor measures consecutive position measurements at known intervals and computes the time rate of change in the position values. The different types of velocity sensor are tachometers, LSVs, piezoelectric sensors, accelerometer sensors. So let's see these type one by one. So first type that is tachometer. The most important device that is used to provide velocity feedback is the tachometer. It is also known as RPM gauge or revolution counter. A tachometer is employed in a motor to calculate the rotational speed of the shaft. The output is displayed as RPM that is revolution per minute in an analog device. The two common types of tachometer are AC tachometer and DC tachometer. <coughs> so we will go through the AC tachometer now. So AC tachometer, it possesses primary and secondary status with fixed windings and a rotor with permanent magnet. If the rotor is stationary, a constant output voltage will be obtained. If the rotor is moving, proportional to the speed of the rotor is uh, induced. This type of tachometer cannot provide information of direction with only one output winding. Next, that is DC tachometer. DC tachometer is the most commonly used instrument in the robotics. It is a device uh, sorry, it is a DC generator implemented to provide an output voltage that is proportional to the angular velocity of the armature. In this mechanism, the rotor and rotational part will be attached directly. It has a stationary device called as commutator, which is connected with the split slip ring. It is used for picking the induced output signal from the rotating coil. So now this is the figure of a DC tachometer generator. So we can see different components of the DC tachometer generator here. So in here it is the shaft, see the cursor pointer. Here it is the shaft whose speed is to be measured and it is connected to the commutator here and the, the two brushes are connected to the commutator and uh, again the circuit is completed with a voltmeter and a resistance so with this with the help of this dc tachometer we can find out the rotational speed of the shaft the next is lesser surface velocimeter that is lsv a lesser surface velocimeter is a non contact optical speed sensor measuring velocity and length on a moving surfaces Lesser surface velocimeters use the lesser Doppler principle to evaluate the lesser light scattered back from a moving object. LSV is based on the Doppler effect or Doppler shift that is the change in frequency of a wave or other periodic event for an observer moving relative to its source. They are widely used in processes and quality control in industrial production process. The next type of sensor is piezoelectric sensor. A piezoelectric sensor is a device that uses the piezoelectric effect to measure changes in velocity, pressure, acceleration, temperature, strain or force by converting them to an electric charge. The prefix piezo in Greek is for press. So we can see here that piezoelectric sensor is used for measurement of different type of quantities uh, so many quantities can be measured with the help of piezoelectric sensor and we have already gone through the uh, principle of working of piezoelectric sensor uh, in pressure sensors also so the 
principle of operation is the way a piezoelectric material is cut produces three main operational modes transverse longitudinal and shear okay the two main groups of material are used for piezoelectric sensors are piezoelectric ceramics and single crystal materials piezoelectric sensors are versatile tools for the measurement of various processes they are used for quality assurance process control and for research and development in many industries the next is accelerometer sensor an accelerometer is a device that measures proper acceleration time rate of change of velocity they are typically used in one of three modes as an internal measurement of velocity and position then as a sensor of inclination tilt or orientation in two or three dimensions as referenced from the acceleration of gravity and as a vibration or impact that is shock sensor thank you